Understanding headers in query. At times it can be a bit confusing to understand the header function in the query. Let's take a look at this particular query. Notice if I um, uh, turn on the help when I'm in the data section, it's highlighted. When I move to the query section, the query section is highlighted, and then I move to the header section. Now, in a typical query, we often just want to use a header row. In this example, we have a header. And so if I write the query like I normally would, um, I would put in this part of the header and just give it a one and let, uh, let it work that way. But what if I don't, what if I want to change the, the, the header? I don't want the headers that are included. One way I can do it is to write my own header. And in doing that, in this example, I'm not starting with the header. In other words, I'm looking at A2. And I'm not putting any header information in this one at all. I'm leaving the header section blank. So in this case, I can build my own header by not including the header in my input data. In this example, I am including the header in my input example, and I'm using the header function of zero, saying, hey, don't give me any headers. But you'll see that the query is still giving me this header, even though these two, the amount and date are blank, the name is coming across and so I am still getting this header and I have this blank information. Um, so in this example, um, it's not achieving what I was looking for if I wanted to um, uh, work. And now, now notice if I switch this to a one, then I get my normal header information the way I want. If I switch it back to a zero, the header doesn't completely go away. And that has to do with the way the query is making its best assessment on what you want to do with headers. So if you, even though I say zero, I'm still getting this. One way to work against that is to include all the data, um, A1 through, uh, through C30, C30, and then use the offset function. And I'm offsetting it one row. So it's saying, look at all the data. A1 to C30, select everything, offset one row, and I want zero header. Now, if I were to change this and say my first row is a header, notice that I actually get a header back when I do that, and I get my, my, normal, my normal header information. Um, but I also, if I go back to zero. Notice my first row is John, 414, but when I use the offset and say I do want the header, um, notice I get a header in this place and it's skipping row one. So if you were to want to um, use the offset to exclude a header, you, um, you have to then set it to zero. So Several different ways to use the header function to either include or not include a header. And, and in some cases, it's not as intuitive as we might think, because in this case, I was asking it to use, a, I was using a zero, hoping to not get a header, but I got a header just in the name column. I hope that helps in terms of uh, understanding how to use headers when you're working in query.